battle of the tape for this lightweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the knockout, And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jalen the Tarantula. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so here we go from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. Absolutely a fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. International fight for the championship fight all across the board. You come to T-Mobile. All right, takedown defense holds up for him here early. He can expect plenty more where that came from, though, champ. That was only one that he needed to defend. He will have to defend many more over the course of this fight. But now that he knows that he can defend these takedowns, maybe he's more willing to take some chances. Just over three minutes to go. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Moicano. Trying to set up a submission now. He's got the sub locked in. defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Arm is very tight. Oh, that arm is in real trouble. He's got it isolated. He's looking to finish. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Like, know when to hold him. Know when, when to fold him, yep, there absolutely. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side. And now he's in the guillotine. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Oh. Outstanding round. You believe it, another five minutes coming up. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And the tarantula's eye starting to look pretty bad. He absorbed a lot of damage over those five minutes. We'll see if the cut man can do anything about that. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of Ready his defenses. Fight. Ready. Here Ready. we are, early round two. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Yes, Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. A nice counter with the hook shot there by Moicano. Oh, big elbow. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh. oh, he is 
hurting for certain. Oh, he lands a huge move to the body. Lands a big elbow there. Turner's thigh really starting to show serious signs of bruising here. It's a pretty fast jab. to not go head hunting, knowing that down the line, all these body shots will pay off for him. And now you can see it starting to happen. So a much different approach from him here. Another one. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Moicano. Oh, man, how much can one man take right on that already swelled area? Might need to call in the doctor here soon. Now he's going full mount. Right here, you got to empty the gas tank, John. You got to just go forward and let everything fly. Setting up a submission. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is beat. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Right. Round three next. Yeah, stop. All right, somewhat mercifully, that is the end of the round. The swelling around his eye is out of control. Cut man hustling in quickly, but I think they might stop this fight, DC. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Ready. Ready. Third round on the way. reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Moicano. Jab is on point right now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Lands a nice leg kick. Well, he's mixing it up beautifully tonight, and there it is again, nicely done as he kicks the thigh. And some redness now starting to develop. Redness starting to show. His opponent needs to address this now before it gets so far down the line, and he's playing catch up. Nice guillotine attempt here. That guillotine is tight. Oh, he's out. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. That was a slick transition. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Turner gets back up here. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk back. Go forward. Make him fight you. Right. He's hurt. He's hurt already. Matt, you cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Moicano. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Great submission defense. Oh, great.
great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Moicano. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Looks like maybe he's going to be in real trouble now. He will not stop fighting. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission right defense back. wins right this transition. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This feet. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Misses with the right hand. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Hanako Wakano! All right, so as many of you expected, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner reigned supreme tonight, needed the judges' scorecards, but a lot of nice work on the ground, particularly when it came to some of those transitions. Well, the balance guy was almost dismissive. Yeah. He said, you're not going to just take me down and 